Brakte hawo, brakte hawo shai, brakte hawo, brakte hawo shai. Kalhala lamla yahawo bahashem yahawo shai bahashem akakodash. The blana to the apostles and elders of Great Mustone and salutations to the Akim out there pushing his word sincerely. And in truth, peace and blessings are upon the elect of the nation of Israel, right, who are the men, women, and children whom the Lord has foreordained to receive mercy through the sacrifice of his son Hamashiach Yahawo Shai, and who will be delivered in these last days, you know, from the time of Jacob's trouble and from the wrath of the enemy, right, in what the, um, the world ignorantly call UFOs or UAPs, which are the chariots of the Lord, right, those are the vessels of our salvation, which will deliver us from this present sinking kingdom and will establish and uh, will take down this kingdom and establish a righteous kingdom, right, in the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, right, and the one part of four thousand elect men of the nation of Israel. This lesson is going to be based on what you see here on screen, the screenshot that you see here on screen, um, earnest money, right. So I, I pretty much uh, ran across this, um, you know, going to um, some of my contacts, um, statuses on, on WhatsApp, you know. <coughs> And I came across this um this particular one and the spirit hit me that there's um there are precepts you know that speak about the earnest of our salvation you know and and this would be a really good uh, um, opportunity to bring out you know um, the understanding of that word earnest um, in, in the scriptures right because you know for brothers who are in the know you know and and for even you know younger brothers or younger sisters uh, coming in we are bought we are bought by Yahweh Shai's blood. We are purchased possession, you know, uh, and the Heavenly Father, right, will soon send His Son to redeem His purchased possession, right? So it's just like you going out to, uh, the, to house hunting, you know, you purchase a house and then you go and you redeem that purchase. Yahweh Shai has purchased it, right? And the time for our, for our redemption is drawing nigh, right? So let me just get into what a deposit is and what is earnest money, and then we'll get into the scriptures, and hopefully this lesson will be edifying Baharaka Kodash. It says, what is a deposit? A deposit, which is also known as earnest money, is a specific sum of money made to the vendor, care of Israel or attorney at law, which represents the purchaser's good faith intention of purchasing the property. Right? Now, we have received an earnest from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which is a down payment on us, yo, right? And we are, and he will, um, he, he will redeem the purchase possession when he comes, yo, right? And we're going to get that from the scriptures, right? The deposit is traditionally 10% of the purchase price. However, with new legislation charges, okay, that goes into different things, right? So let's get into, um, into what this means, right? Earnest, right? So here we have, I believe this is um this is first Corinthians right first Corinthians chapter one verse twenty-two right it says for all the promises of God are in him yea we start verse twenty and in him are men unto the glory of God by us it says no he which establishes us with you in Yahweh Shai Hamashiach has anointed us is is Yahweh who also sealed us and has given us the earnest of the Spirit in our hearts, right? It says, has given us the earnest of the Spirit in our hearts, right? Let me, um, let me get the definition for that. The earnest of, the, of our Spirit in our hearts. All right, so this is um, all right, 2 Corinthians 1, verse 22, all right? Let's look it up here, all right? So in the footnote, it says down payment, all right? But if you want to get... A more rounded understanding, you go to the Strongs, it's um, Arab on, or Arab on. It says, a pledge that is part of the purchase money or property given in advance as security for the rest. Right? So we have been given the spirit, right, as a part of the purchase money or property given in advance. So, so, so the spirit is, is, is property given in advance. A security for the rest. So the spirit really is the first part of our salvation. Right? That is our down payment. So Yahweh shall purchase us with his blood. Right? And the spirit which we have, which is the understanding of his word, the ability to break down the word, the ability to, to, to understand prophecies, 
and soon spiritual powers or spiritual abilities right these are all down payments yo these are the beginnings of the kingdom of heaven these are the beginnings of our redemption and establishment as a um, as the powers on the earth right an earnest a money which in purchases is given as a pledge or down payment that the full amount will be subsequently paid and the full amount is us being fully physically delivered out of this kingdom right and being uh, and being put into our own kingdom righteous kingdom that will stand forever having glorious bodies bodies without without fault no pain no no sorrow you know no no illness that is the full um payment right so if we go down here to um to second corinthians 8 right I'll read from verse um no, no, no it's not second Corinthians eight Salakia. Alright. It's um Second Corinthians five. Alright, second Corinthians five. Alright, and I'll start from verse four. It says, For we that are in this tabernacle do groan, meaning this physical flesh, this filthy body of death. We groan, we groan to leave it because it's so corruptible. It says being burdened, we're, we're, the spirit is constantly being burdened by the flesh. We want to do that which is good, but we end up slipping and falling and doing that which is bad. Right? So we're constantly burdened, you know, by, by this, this wicked flesh that lusts after wickedness, but the spirit itself lusts after life and righteousness. So we yearn in this tabernacle, not for that we would be unclothed, right? Meaning not that we would die and just, just not exist. But clothed upon that immort that mortality may be swallowed up of life, meaning we want to put on the immortal clothing, right? Which is that perfect body that Yahweh Shai will, will, will fashion like his own body. It says, No, he that wrath us for the self same thing is Yahweh, who has also given us the earnest of the spirit. Right? So we have gotten a taste. Of what it will be like in, in, uh, um, in the kingdom of our salvation is like. Right? The spirit is that down payment of our salvation. You know? Right? Jump into Ephesians 1 verse 14. Right? We'll start from verse 13. It says, In whom ye also trusted. Right? Which is Yahweh speaking about Yahweh Shai. After that ye heard the word of truth. The gospel of your salvation. In whom also after ye believed. You were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. So you heard the word, whether you watched on YouTube, you saw brothers on the highways, or whatever other means, right, brought you to the word, to the spirit. You heard it, you believed, and that belief sealed within you the Holy Spirit of promise, right? Which is the earnest of our inheritance, which is the down payment of our inheritance. So our inheritance is what? Eternal life, glorious bodies, these other nations. Uh, um, righteousness, right? A kingdom, an everlasting kingdom, being with Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. That is our inheritance until the, the redemption of the purchased possession unto the praise of His glory. We are that purchased possession that will be redeemed. And when we get that, that, that redemption, we will have the, our full inheritance, not just the down payment that we have now, which is the spirit, the understanding of the word, the ability to break down these prophecies. And, and view uh, um, current events through the, the eyes of the scriptures. That's the spirit. That's a down payment of our inheritance. Right? So it says we are a purchased possession. Right? Let me get back to here. Right? So this is now... This is now Acts chapter 20 verse 28. It says, Take heed therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock over which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers to feed the church of Yahweh, which he has purchased with his own blood. Right? So we are a purchased possession. And the Lord will soon come back to redeem his purchased possession. And give us all the inheritance that we have been promised. Right? Uh, another one here, wrapping up here with um, 1 Corinthians 6 verse 19. It says, What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of Yahweh, which is, it is the temple of the Holy Spirit which is in you, which ye have of Yahweh, and you are not your own, for you are bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and your spirit. Right? Uh, missing the last part. Let me just get it here. Uh, 
1 Corinthians chapter 6. Bear my brothers, I don't really have internet, so I have to be doing this. All right, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 20 again. For you are bought with a price. Therefore glorify Yahweh in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. So we, we belong to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And we have been given a down payment of the inheritance that we will receive by way of the Holy Spirit, by way of the understanding of these scriptures, yo. So hopefully that this was edifying, this was an edifying lesson. Forgive me the spirit and the inspiration to do this lesson. Shalom. Until next time.